not getting enough butterflies in you because you're getting ready to go out in front of 20,000 people. You're thinking about what you have to do tonight, but also you're thinking, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to fall on my face when I walk out the ramp. And, and I want to make sure I, I go out there and entertain every one of them. I think wrestling is very entertaining. It's just, it's a, it's an outlet. It's drama for male, you know, like a soap opera for males. There's not a more natural high in the world than hear your music hit. You can hear their screams and applause in your body. You can feel it inside of you. Not just mentally feel it, but physically feel it bouncing off the, your chest and bouncing off you. And, and when you're walking down, you're looking at each, you know, you can almost make contact with each one of them eye to eye. What we're trying to deliver with SmackDown is the ultimate gaming experience in sports entertainment. It's very fast moving as compared to other games where it's very slow. The graphics are really cool. That looks real. See, the moves are, the moves are very realistic looking. One thing that sets our game apart from the other competition is our gameplay and our button commands. We don't want to have to push 20 buttons to get a move off. We want a beginner to be able to pick up the game and get into the game and pull off moves but at the same time, we want the more experienced player to be able to master the reversals, master the game itself. When you're out there in the ring, it's not as easy as it looks. For example, probably the hardest one is Steve Austin's stunner because it comes from 14 different directions. I mean, you could be on the offense and all of a sudden, boot to the gut, there it is. Probably the most embarrassing people's elbow because you're just laying there forever and then all of a sudden this elbow comes out of nowhere. And well Kane, Big Boss Man and Taker all use a choke slam and that's just a big pan wrapped around your throat. The name definitely describes the move. So these are some of the moves you watch out for and just as scared as hell to, to take. One thing that we got in the game that no one else has done before, the season mode. You go through all the major events and pay-per-views, and at the end, you'll hit WrestleMania. Along the way, you'll make friends and foes and enemies. You can fight in the kitchen, the boiler room, anywhere you want to go, and anything can happen at any time. You can make decisions whether or not to team with a partner, and you don't just go to them, they come to you. Another thing that we have, create a wrestler slash superstar mode in which you can go in and create anyone you want. You can create uh, wrestlers, superstars from around the world, you know, different looks, different masks, and also attributes, entrances. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better call somebody! It really captures the drama, the excitement of the WWF. We really want to bring the person inside the ring, you know, this is the closest thing we can do to that. Like I said, we're all fans making games for the fans, and I think the real fans can tell. You're always in that quote-unquote zone when you're out there in the ring. For example, when I climb up for my frog splash. The people then go from being on like decibel one to like screaming jet and there's no there's nothing in the world that can stop you from hearing it. It's like me winning the NBA title at the Super Bowl every night of the year. 